Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about can you learn two programming languages at the same time? And I'm also aware of the situation that you have watched like hundreds of videos talking about programming and saying, no, you should not learn two programming languages at the same time. But being a critical thinker, you always have been thinking that when there are loops in both programming language, when there are if and else condition, when there are variables in both programming language, there is so much similarity in the syntax, why cannot I learn two programming language at the same time? I'm really proud on you that you have thought like this way and being a critical thinker is always amazing and awesome. But in this video, I'll solve all of your questions and will answer to them really precisely so that you never have to think about it. Let's get started. When your soul is lonely, sad and blue. Learning two programming language side by side is inviting a nightmare. And I have never seen even professionals doing it. Even I myself, which I don't call it as a professional, but as a decent programmer, I don't ever do that. Now, there is a strong reason behind that. And in order to understand what is going on behind that, we have to invite our beloved friend, which is Apple Pencil which still charges like this and hey Apple, I'm not a big fan of this. Although that's a great product, I have been using it for almost more than a year. I loved it, but the way it charges, I don't like it Apple. Do something about it. So let's move on to my computer and try to understand why you shouldn't be learning two programming language at the same time. So when you learn two programming language at the same time, a lot happens. Now consider this piece of text as learncodeonline.in written here as just a basic syntax of programming loops, function and classes, everything included. Now if I just tap on over here, just consider this two things here, two colors, this uh, blue one as one programming language and this brown one as other programming language. When you're learning two programming language at the same time, what you are doing is first you're typing L here with a brown color, then you have to switch on to it blue and then you're learning L here again. Now similarly, I'll switch back again and I'll just see E and then I'll just go back here and I'm just doing it here. See, this is so time consuming. Now instead of that, if I would be doing something like this, I would select just one programming language and I would be writing this here completely. Uh, just like that, yes, I wrote it at wrong place, but you got the point that it is so much faster when you just pick up one programming language and go out with that. Now, instead of switching that programming language, it's gonna take time. Your mind actually takes a lot of time to adjust in that paradigm of programming language and hence, making it a little bit tough for every programmer. So my advice is make sure you just don't switch your pens here and just like that you don't switch your programming language. Ultimately programming language are just tools to perform anything and similarly in this case they are just performing a text here. So my word of advice is hey don't just switch back on to forth onto your pens. Stick to one, one pen and once you are done with it then only make sure you move on to the next pen. Now moving back onto the camera. Yes, this is my actual reason why you should not be learning two programming language at the same time. The reason behind that is when you are learning two programming language simultaneously, you are not learning it simultaneously. You are actually switching the task. You are trying to understand one thing and immediately you are switching to another task and you are trying to understand it, which is really complex process. Instead of doing that, I would recommend you to highly go for mastering one programming language at least first, then try to do a couple of projects in it, at least two or three projects in it. It will give you a more understanding. Now, I'm a strong believer that instead of doing any kind of competitive programming or anything like that, instead of do the, doing that, try to do and build up a project on your own. It will give you a much more flexibility and much more complex thinking as compared to any other thing. Now, once you have at least done two or three projects which are at a big scale, then for sure, if, it, if the demand comes on, you can just move on to other programming language. And obviously, your past programming language is gonna help you quite a lot. There are a lot of similarities in all programming language. And uh, without a doubt, I can say that if you have learned any programming language in the past, it is surely going to help you in the future as well. So that's it for this quick short video. In case you have liked this video, do give it a thumbs up. And in case you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe. We talk a lot about programming and tech at this channel. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And for sure, I'll catch you up in the next video.